Jailbreak community, this is Dream Tech, and today I'm bringing you some extra content. I would like to show you all my top five most necessary tweaks from Cydia. Basically, what I'm trying to tell you guys about today is tweaks that help you with your device. Now, I did mention one yesterday, um, and that was minimal HUD, and that is a necessary tweak that I will be including, and it will be the first one inside my video. I am going to make sure to be faster about them because I don't want to take as much time in one video as I did yesterday with just one tweak. So I'm going to try to be quicker about it today. But generally, like I said, these are the to my top five most necessary tweaks that you should install on your iPhone jailbroken on iOS 9.3.3 that'll help things be faster or improve certain aspects of your device to make things less of a hassle. And personally, these are my favorite kind of tweaks because it helps you speed up whatever's going on on your device. It helps you speed up the process of things so you don't have to work, work as long on them or it makes them easier to do. So without further ado, folks, here we go. The first tweak that I'm gonna go ahead and recommend for you all, like I said from yesterday's video, this tweak is called Minimal HUD. And you can find Minimal HUD on Cydia for completely free. Let me go ahead and show you all. Minimal HUD is absolutely free. It's a free tweak and it says it's compatible with iOS, but it works. Anyways, what Minimal HUD does, if you go into the settings application, is basically it um, changes the volume uh, thing on the front of your display to being smaller and off to the side or whatever location you choose to put it And you can just select certain themes as well So when you're watching some content or media the big pop-up and the volume isn't in your face And it's a lot easier to change the volume and it honestly feels a lot nicer as well as you guys can see That is minimal HUD The next week that I would highly recommend is something that I think is personally very useful to devices We get quite a bit of things on um, iOS, but sometimes it feels like Apple cuts cuts it a little bit. So this next tweak is called um, Flip Control Center. Now it doesn't allow you to color the background purple. No, I did that with another tweak, um, but that's more of a stylus tweak, so that won't be included in this video. What Control Center uh, Flip Control Center does is allow you to create extra toggles. As you guys can see, I have a lot of toggles for LTE for low power mode. Um, for brightness or night shift, excuse me, you can have night shift up there. Uh, you know, airplane mode, the standard, and other things like respring and turning off your mobile data like that, um, and even turning off your location services. And um, personally, I think that's pretty awesome. This right here is also another tweak uh, down here uh, where I'm touching. That's a completely different tweak, but I might go ahead and mention that one in this video as well. You can also get extra tweaks right here. And uh, generally, it just kind of makes you know, your control center a lot more um, of a useful service. And like I said, if you go into the settings application here, uh, flip control center settings are right here. And it's awesome because you have all these different options to choose from. You can choose what you want on the top shelf, in what order, and you can drag to whatever order you would like. So you can kind of just include them by flipping them up there. Or, you know, near the back, you'll have to go all the way to the back, or if you put it all the way to the top of the screen, they'll be one of the first you see in your control center. If I can move this back down here. But anyways, guys, that's Flip Control Center, and it really just gives you open to more customization and more quick settings in your control center application. One of my most favorite tweaks that has been useful to me very, uh, very much so, uh, so far, is one called Grabber Time. You know when you're in an application and generally you can't see the time and if you wanted to see the time you'd have to pull down your notification center um, to be able to, to see it. Well, generally this is a fix for that. So let's go into an app, for example, like Duolingo. You can't see the time and you'd have to pull it down and do all that work. Well, with this one, you just swipe down and you'll see the icon it says 2.07 p.m. Mine looks a little weird because I have a tweak called Floater that I'm probably going to uninstall because I don't like it very much. But you, you swipe down and it shows you what the time is. And then the bar above it is the battery life. Since I'm charged in and I'm at 100 battery life, it's going to be showing as full green. But that being said, that's just kind of a cool little option or alternative um, that you have to that. And I personally find this one very useful. 
Now the next one I have to talk about is actually a mix of two tweaks, and I'm just going to include these two tweaks into one because they kind of go side by side by each other. These two tweaks are called Mobius and Spotlight Be Gone. You will be needing both of them if you want to use this effectively. What Mobius allows you to do is infinitely scroll through your springboard, just like this. But Spotlight Be Gone will get rid of your spotlight. Normally the thing you'd have to the left here with all your con some of your favorite contacts and applications and some news, I don't ever use that. And a lot of people don't. And so that's why these two tweaks are very usable. Mobius right here, you just have to enable it and you can tell it what to apply to, all those settings. And then spotlight be gone. When you get this by default, just go ahead and make sure you have this one ticked here, minus page disabled. And once you do that, you can go ahead and get rid of that spotlight. And then you're gonna have to, once you're done, make sure to respring your device. Both of these applications here are absolutely free and you're going to have to add a specific repo to get Mobius. Spotlight Be Gone is absolutely free and can be found, I believe, on the Big Boss repo, so it's by default. If you wanna get Mobius, I will go ahead and show you what source you're going to need. Mobius here can be found at this repo here. Just go ahead and type in repo.tylerkassan.com and press add source. Once you do that, you can find it on Tyler's repo here. If you look at all packages, you have Mobius. And that's the tweaks you will be needing to get unlimited scrolling on your springboard, kind of like how it classically was. Moving on to tweak number five. This tweak here is called Dismiss Progress. It's a completely free tweak and it does tie in with Cydia. This is probably one of my favorite tweaks, especially when you first get your phone jailbroken. I would highly recommend installing this on iOS 9.3.3. Dismiss Progress basically allows you to do something that a lot of times you wouldn't uh, be able to do. When you install a package in Cydia, which for example, let me go ahead and show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. If we go ahead, let's see here. Let's go ahead and install something like Pokemap. Although this doesn't work right now, it's still compatible with iOS 9. I just want to show you guys. So let's go ahead and install this. When you install a tweak, generally after it says reloading data and all that fun stuff, what's going to happen is you're going to be forced to restart your springboard. So let me show you. Normally you have this button down here and your only alternative is to press the home button and then background Cydia out, just like that. Well, generally what this does is gives you this close button right here in the top top corner, right around where I'm you know, touching on the screen. Basically it's a close button. So you can just press close and you can go on to whatever other tweak and install that. And once you're done installing all those other tweaks, you can go ahead and respring your device and it'll be good as new. Generally, this just allows you to install more packages without having to respring at once. And that makes things a lot more efficient, especially when you just have jailbroken your phone and you would like to make sure that you have as much packages in the least amount of time so you can really get up to modding your iPhone. Basically, guys, this was my top five or I guess there was kind of six in there, but I'm just going to still stick to it. My top five most necessary tweaks for the iPhone. These tweaks in this video are all found free and generally most of them are found in the Big Boss repo despite other tweaks that I have shown you the other alternate repos to get them from. Anyways guys, if you really liked the video today, please let me know if you want more necessary tweak videos. The next video I'm um, going to make are probably some of the coolest or the most stylish tweaks you can use on your iOS device for customization and whatnot. And I would really like to get into that as well. But let me know if you guys want more necessary tweak videos because I feel like necessary tweaks actually kind of make your device a better experience than just making it look different. Personally, I would rather have more features that are useful on iOS than more features that look pretty in iOS. So that being said, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'll be bringing you guys some more content just like this. Anyways, guys, I just want to let you know to subscribe, like, share, comment, talk to me. I will reply back to you. That being said, folks, everybody have a great one. This was Dream Tech, and I am signing out.